Desmond Du here from Nosley Creative. Today we're going to continue on spreadsheet for automation in motion design. We're going to focus on regular expression. So, what exactly is a regular expression? A regular expression, or regex for short, is a sequence of character that defines a search pattern. In Google Sheets, there are three regular expression functions, regex replace, match, and extract, and they pretty much do what they say. So, in my previous tutorial, we were able to use regular expression to extract the first name from the voice cast of Adventure Time. As you can see over here, the regular expression is this special character at the back. You don't, you don't need to mind the, all this uh, formula at the front. The one that's doing all the work is simply this tree character, backslash w asterisk. So what this tree character means is search for any alphanumeric character and uh, so this happened to be just the first word. So a space is not alpha numeric character. So it just stopped this search at the uh, Jeremy, John, Hayden. And then using a uh, regular expression, I was able to just subtract uh, what, I, what I was able to extract from my first name. Regular expression can be complicated and complex to understand, but luckily there are many online resources to help you learn it. One of the websites that I used when I first started out is called regex1. So this is an interactive tutorial website where they, exp they explain uh, what regular expression are and how to use them. On the right hand side, you have the, less, you have the reference sheet of what uh, the special characters do. And then it will highlight itself based on what lesson you're on. So to do this, uh, so the exercise here is to basically match these three words. So we can type our regular expression here and it could be ABC or it could be backslash W. It's because it's alpha numeric numeric character and if you're confused you can just click on the solution click continue to move on and now we're going to search for digits very simple it could be one two three or we can do backslash d and notice it only selects like one character it highlights one character if you want to select like three character we have to do this we have to either we type in one two three right it selects itself or we have to do backslash d backslash d backslash d to kind of give it to quantify it so let's continue. And then now, uh, this is also a very important lesson, the dot. So a dot is uh, or a period is a wildcard character. So by a wildcard character, I mean that it can be any character. It could be a number, it could be a letter, it could be a special symbol, it could be a white space. So to demonstrate it, if I type dot, everything gets selected, right? You can see everything's match. Uh, and then if I would, so I need to match any tree, tree wildcard character because I have letters here. I have numbers here and then I have special characters here. So dot, dot, dot. And, you know, we have a, a period to match. And you might think, you know, just adding a period would help. But this will match everything, including this one. This would not work because this is not a period symbol. So we have a period to match a period symbol. We need to add a backslash uh, before the period. See on the right hand side, there's a difference. The period is any character and, and then uh, a backslash. Period will give you a period character. Hope you guys understand that. So just know that special characters will of, uh, often have backslash behind them. And let's have, go to our final lesson before moving on. So we're going to learn about. So for this uh, regular expression, we need to match uh, this first three words and skip the rest. And the back, we know the back part is A N. And we just need to match the first three character can be C, M, or F. So we can tell in the reg regular expression to do that uh, using uh, what I believe is called a character class. So if we were to type in a square bracket and we type in uh, the CMF, it's basically saying like the first character can be any of this character in, in this square bracket. So if I would add a D inside, it's gonna, you know, I'm not, I can't proceed with the exercise because D is part of the, Dan is part of the search criteria. So this is all, so it's gonna search every anything that's within this uh, square bracket. So that's the basics of regular expression for now. And let's, so let's move on. So the next thing I wanna cover is regular expression debugger. A debugger is something that helps you test out your regular expression before you use it in Google Sheets or maybe your script or your programming. And I like to use regex 101 because it explains to me what is the regular expression I'm writing. And also it has a quick reference sheet at the bottom. So if I forget maybe what a word character is, you know, I can just type in word and it'll just show me uh, the token for it. So it's backslash W. 
So over here, I have a set of uh, data that we can use to debug or test out our regular expression that we're writing. So let's just say we use that uh, word character backslash w, and you can see everything is highlighted. So numbers and uh, and letters are, are selected because they're alphanumeric. So uh, let's just say I want to select digits, it'll be backslash d, and you can see that uh, all, the, all the numbers are selected. So let's make it a little bit uh, uh, tougher. Let's just say I only want to highlight digits that only that only words words that starts with digits, right? So basically, this first line over here. So to do that, we can add a special symbol. Uh, we can type the car the caret symbol, shortcut shift shift six, and then so it's just gonna basically what this symbol does is search at the start of the line, and we can search for a digit. And then if we want to search the whole string, we if we want to search like this whole numbers. From one to zero, that's we we can do we can quantify it by doing backslash d backslash d, but no, we're not gonna do that. We can add a quantifier by putting a curly bracket, and we can insert how many times, three, four, or five. Or we can also use uh, another quantifier. We can type in the word plus. So uh, the plus quantifier basically on see on the right hand side, it matches one and unlimited time. So it's just going to search as many numbers in the first line. And that's the reg regular expression I wrote here. So what if I want to select numbers at the back then? So I can carry out this caret symbol. And then I'm going to type uh, uh, the dollar sign symbol. So the dollar sign symbol basically uh, it says search from the back. So I'm searching digits from the back and it fulfills this criteria. So that's, so that's neat. Let's move on. All right. So. When we so now we want to search we want to search for words when we do backslash w we search for every word character so to do words all we have to do is just type in plus so plus because we know a white space is not an alphanumeric character so it by typing backslash w is just gonna search all the character and then stop at a white space okay and now let's make it a bit trickier what if I want to select uh as I say in my, I have the names of the Adventure Time cast over here. I want to match. Uh, I only want to search for names that has it's there's four character long. So you know backslash w word character right. So and then we give it a quantifier of four. But notice it's selecting any anything that matches its criteria, any word that has four characters in it. So we need to use a word boundary to uh, solve this problem. So a word boundary is denoted by the character backslash b. So a word, so it basically is the position where a word begins and end. And then so back, so we're searching at the start of the word, and then we're searching for a word character, and we can type in a plus because there's many, oh, we, no, we're just gonna search for four characters, sorry. So a curly bracket, a quantifier, and then a backslash b again, because we want it to be a, a word. And you can see, you know, John, Nikki Yang, Fred, Sean is all selected. And the last thing I want to cover is capturing uh, hex code. So I'm sure you might have a, a bunch of documents that you just want to highlight hex code or just extract it uh, for your data set. So for, the, we can, for hex code, right, we have to make use of character class. We know that hex code has six digits. And it, so let's just write this down. So it has six characters. So the things, the, so the, what, the letters that, is, uh, that makes up hex code is uppercase, uh, uppercase alphabet, A to Z, and then lowercase, A to F. So you can put a dash in between to select a range uh, of letters, and then the numbers 0 to 9. And Tada, and we got all the hex code. You can see, okay, and let's ignore this because this is, this is a special case. But I guess this would be a hex code. It does work in uh, probably in After Effects. Uh, and if you just want, if you want to hash the pound key, just you know, add, add it at the front. There we go. So now we're going to put what we learned into action in Google Sheets. Okay, so we're back in Google Sheets. Before I proceed with this tutorial, I just want to cover the importance of regular expression. The reason why we're learning regular expression is because the data set that we receive from our producer, our project manager, 
is never optimum unless you're very communicative with them about your needs for automation. Most of the time, I don't even get spreadsheet. My data set come through the email uh, separated by line breaks and uh, sometimes through, sh- through Slack, which is not optimum at all. So I have a situation over here where my colleague gave me a set of uh, uh, data in Slack and the number formatting was gone. So I had to like manually remove it, just like uh, go into each cell and remove it. So I thought to myself, why not, if this is going to happen to me so many times, why not just write a couple of regular expression, multiple, some, just create some setups with, uh, with regular expression to clean specific type of data. So for this first exercise over here, we're going to remove, we're going to just extract just the names of this uh, of these teams. Okay, so let's begin. Equals regex extract, and then you select the text that you want to extract from. So that's a tree comma, and your regular expression needs to be in double quotes. And so we are searching for anything that comes after the period. So remember, a period sim. Uh, we have to put a backslash, and then we can type in a period symbol. And we know that it is a space, a space in between. And then we have a word character and then we type plus. But if I do that, it's just going to select, you know, along with that dot or the period and space. I don't want that. If I just want to isolate, you know, if I just want to capture this Kansas, I can just put in a parenthesis over like that. So this is called a capture group. It's basically, you know, search for this and then I have to capture this. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Search for search for a period and a space and a word character, but just capture the word characters. And then if I were to just drag it down, you can see that it works. Oh, guess it not. It doesn't work. We can use a word character because a space, there are spaces in between. So we have to change this formula expression to instead of a instead of a backslash w, we're gonna do a wildcard character, a period. And then we're just going to drag it down. Ta-da, it's done. And to make our life easier, instead of just dragging our formula down, we can just write an array formula. We're going to write an if error. And then we're going to add an array formula. So do catch my previous tutorial where I explain more about uh, how to use formula, like if error array formula. So we got to change this range to a3 to a. And then it's going to give me an error because I got to get rid of all this data. Done. Cool. So let's move on. And then here's another scenario my encounter. Uh, so for a project that I was working on, I received data set where, you know, both color codes are in, uh, in a single cell. That is, that is, uh, that's, that's not good because I need my data, my hex code separated in individual cell for the primary and secondary color. So let's write a regular expression to separate them. So we're going to re- extract Select A2, and then comma, double quote, and remember character class A to Z in uppercase, and A to F uh, in lowercase, and 0 to 9, and then close it, close the square bracket, quantifier of 6, because the hex code has 6, and then a double quote to end it off, and then, ta-da, we got our, our hex code. But you notice I it didn't get my first hex code. And so what I need to do now, this is a tricky situation because we have this primary and secondary word. So what we can do, oh, sorry, I actually typed wrong. Zero to zero, so zero to nine. So yeah, it grabbed the first hex code. So I, I can't, to extract the secondary hex code over here, what we can do is we're gonna copy this formula and paste it over here. And we're just gonna use the dollar sign symbol. Because we know, you know, it's at the back. So we're just going to search from the back. Ta-da. And we got it. And then if we drag it down, drag my formula down. And we can get, see, we can get all the X code for the both primary and secondary. So a real time saver. And um, yes, just remember, A to Z, uppercase. A to F, lowercase. And then 0 to 9. And make sure it's 6 character, quantify use a quantifier by six in curly brackets and the last one i want to cover is extracting you know we're going to extracting names from hyperlink so this is a bunch of hyperlinks i extracted 
uh, from this uh, NC uh, for the March Madness team uh, website. So I extracted all the hyperlinks from there. And just for a quick exercise, we're just going to grab the names of the teams from this hyperlink and then get rid of the Get, get rid of the dashes and then also make them into a uh, camel case. So every every word is in uh, every first character every every word is capitalized on the first character. You get you guys get what I mean. All right. So let's write this regular expression equals regex extract. Okay. So we need to search our pattern is anything that comes after dot com slash and then stop at dash color. To do that, let's do, oops, sorry, comma, double quote, okay, and then we're going to search, okay, com, slash, and then uh, it could be any character, so dot plus, so you're going to do dot plus, and you're just going to select everything from the end, to the end, so we don't want that, we just want to stop at color, so we can do dash, color, c-o-l, you can even just stop at call. Uh, and then we just want to, and then, but it's, if I hit return, it's going to select this, just that chunk of whatever I search. I just want Acron zip. So I can just capture it using a capture group through a parentheses like this. So it's like search for all this, but only can give me this result. Acron zip. Ta-da, it's done. So if I have to apply it downward, see, it works. But not for this one because there is, a uh, this 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 doesn't have a the dash color codes for its hyperlink, but we're gonna ignore that for this tutorial. We're gonna focus uh, because most of these hyperlinks uh, have this uh, it has a ends with dash color codes. Okay, so let me just oops sorry, let's just delete all this data. So now we want to get rid of the dash in the a, in between a cron zip. We can do so by using substitute. And then we type in comma and we're gonna oops. Let's search for oh I swear on substitute substitute comma double quote. We're gonna search for a dash comma and what to replace it with and it's gonna be blank. Oh actually a space. There you go. Okay, and then we're gonna hit return. And then so yes, yeah, now now it has um it has a, instead of dash a space in between. And we want to make it camel case. So we type, use the function proper, open parentheses, you see, text to capitalize. Capitalize each word in a specific string. And let's hit return. Oops. Ah, damn it. Let me do it again. Proper. Yes, there we go. And we're just gonna drag it down. And you can see I've extracted all the names from the hyperlinks. And make them into uh into camel case using yeah so it's a combination of like regular expression and uh simple Google Sheets formula and of course there are some errors as you can see like I mentioned you know about there's no dash color code so this this search pattern fail so maybe we can add an if error message to kind of uh find out to kind of uh, make sure there's no error message. But we're not going to do that. You know, we, I just want to demonstrate to you the process of using regular expression in different scenarios. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and like for more. And you can follow me on Instagram at DesmondDu to see my latest work. And I have a question for you guys. Is it data or data? Comment below on what you think is right. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.